What if I told you that China is turning its largest desert into a forest? Not just any forest, but the largest artificial forest in human history. In the 1970s, China faced a massive environmental crisis. Deserts were expanding at an alarming rate, swallowing up usable land and threatening communities. Sandstorms would regularly blast through cities, turning skies orange and making life unbearable for millions. The situation was so dire that some areas were losing thousands of hectares of productive land every year. Imagine waking up one morning to find your city buried in sand. It was not just a dusty day, but waves of sand hundreds of feet high swallowing entire neighborhoods. This wasn't a scene from a science fiction movie. It was reality for millions in China, where one of Earth's largest deserts, the Gobi, was literally consuming cities, farms, and villages. The Chinese government recognized the need for a bold solution, something unprecedented. Their answer was the Three North Shelter Forest Program, now globally known as the Great Green Wall. Take a look at this image. These green patches spreading across northern China weren't here 40 years ago. Let me put this project into perspective. Imagine taking an area larger than all of Western Europe and deciding to transform it into a lush green forest. That's exactly what China is doing. But first, let's understand why China needs this massive project. Right now, one third of China's farmland is disappearing, not from urban development or industrial expansion, but from an enemy that's been growing for decades, the desert. This crisis didn't happen overnight. Back in the 1950s, China's rapid industrialization led to massive deforestation. Trees that had held the soil in place for centuries were cut down. Without this natural barrier, the desert began its relentless march forward. The Gobi Desert was swallowing up 3,600 square kilometers of grassland every single year. Imagine watching your farmland, your home, your entire community slowly disappear under waves of sand. Cities would vanish under dust storms, and farmers could only watch as their fields turned to wasteland. In Beijing, residents once faced over 50 dust storms every year. These weren't just minor inconveniences. We're talking about storms so powerful they shut down cities, grounded flights, and forced millions indoors. The numbers tell a devastating story here. These storms caused respiratory diseases to spike by 300%. Crop yields plummeted by 40%. And the economic losses? Well, a staggering $54 billion annually. But in 1978, China decided to fight back. They launched what would become the largest ecological engineering project in history. The goal was to create a 4,500-kilometer forest barrier, literally a wall of trees, to stop the desert in its tracks. Think about that distance for a moment. 4,500 kilometers. That's longer than the entire U.S.-Mexico border. And they're not just planting a single line of trees. This is a forest system that, in some places, stretches 100 kilometers wide. The scale of this project is mind-boggling. Let me put this project's scale into perspective. The planned forest area covers 4.069 million square kilometers. That's larger than all of Western Europe combined. The cost of this green initiative is $56.2 billion, and the timeline extends over 72 years, from 1978 to 2050. As of 2024, however, they have already completed 3,000 kilometers of this green barrier, and with today's technology, it appears that the project will be finished earlier than anticipated. Since 1978, China has planted over 100 billion trees across an area larger than all of California. Now, you might be thinking, planting trees in a desert? How is that even possible? And more importantly, is it actually working? Well, that's exactly what we're going to explore. The way China is building this green wall isn't just about digging holes and dropping seeds. They're using science in ways that nobody has tried before. The project splits northern China into three distinct zones. Each one faces its own challenges. In the Northwest, they're dealing with less than 200 millimeters of rain per year. That's about the same as the Sahara Desert. To beat these impossible conditions, Chinese scientists created something they call the fish scale pit. Picture a series of crescent-shaped dips in the ground, each one designed to catch and hold every precious drop of rain. This simple but brilliant innovation increased tree survival rates from 20% to an impressive 80%.
But the real game-changing work is happening in laboratories across China. Scientists have developed 85 new types of trees specifically for this project. Take the new version of the Siberian elm they've created. Its roots can reach down 80 meters. That's as deep as a 26-story building, and it can survive on just 100 millimeters of annual rainfall. Now, let's talk about what all this work has achieved so far. The results of these innovations have been remarkable. Since 1978, China has planted 100 billion trees. Think about that number for a moment. 100 billion. That's enough trees to circle the Earth 60 times if you place them side by side. But numbers only tell part of the story. Let's look at what this massive tree planting campaign has actually achieved. Forest coverage in northern China has jumped from 5% to 13.5% in just four decades. China alone created 25% of all new green space on Earth between 2000 and 2017. Remember those dust storms I mentioned earlier? Their frequency has dropped by 81%. Beijing now sees blue skies more often than yellow ones. But this project isn't just changing the environment, it's transforming lives. Areas that were once barren wastelands are now producing fruits, nuts, and timber. New forest-related industries have created millions of jobs. Former desert regions are becoming tourist destinations. However, not everything about this massive project is positive. In fact, some scientists are raising serious concerns. If you are enjoying this video so far, be sure to give it a big thumbs up. While China's Great Green Wall shows promise, it faces serious challenges. The biggest concern isn't the trees or the sand, it's water. When you're planting forests in areas that get as little rain as the Sahara, every drop counts. Scientists worry that these new forests might actually disrupt natural water cycles. Some areas are already seeing their groundwater levels drop as trees consume more water than the land can naturally provide. There's another issue that might not be obvious at first glance. Many of these forests are monocultures, huge areas planted with just one type of tree. While this might seem efficient, it creates vulnerable ecosystems. A single disease or pest could potentially wipe out entire sections of the forest barrier. Imagine a city where everyone has exactly the same immune system. One disease could wipe out the entire population. That's the risk these monoculture forests face. In some regions, the desert is still expanding faster than trees can be planted. It's like trying to fill a bucket with a hole in it. Local officials report that in certain areas, they're replanting the same sections multiple times as sand dunes overtake their previous efforts. But China is not backing down from these challenges. Instead, they're adapting their approach, and some of their solutions are truly innovative. Scientists are now developing new drought-resistant tree varieties specifically for this project. They're also experimenting with advanced irrigation techniques that use up to 70% less water. The strategy is evolving too. Instead of relying solely on trees, they're now creating diverse ecosystems with shrubs, grasses, and multiple tree species. This approach not only requires less water, but creates more resilient forests. Looking ahead, China plans to secure 2 million more hectares of desertified land by 2025. They're also investing in new sand control technologies that could revolutionize desert management globally. So, is China's Great Green Wall a success or a failure? The answer isn't simple. What we're seeing is both a triumph of human determination and a lesson in ecological complexity. Yes, the project has successfully pushed back against desertification in many areas, but it's also teaching us valuable lessons about the delicate balance of ecosystems. The world is watching this experiment closely. From Africa to Central Asia, countries are studying China's Great Green Wall. Nearly 1,000 specialists from 87 different countries have trained in China's desert control methods. The project's influence stretches far beyond China's borders. These new forests are capturing millions of tons of carbon dioxide annually, making them a powerful weapon against climate change. The project has created what experts call a carbon sink, essentially a massive natural storage system for greenhouse gases. Take Africa's Great Green Wall Initiative. Inspired by China's success, 11 countries are working together to build a green barrier across the entire width of Africa to hold back the Sahara Desert. What we're seeing in China is more than just a massive tree planting project. 
It's a blueprint for how humans might repair some of the damage we've done to our planet. The battle between forest and desert continues, but for the first time in human history, we're seeing that it's possible to push back against desertification if we're willing to think big enough and learn from our mistakes. So, what do you think about this massive environmental makeover? Could similar approaches work in other parts of the world? Share your thoughts in the comments below.